Hey everybody, it's Jason Blah here, and I thought I'd sit down and do a video for you guys. Get a sip of water first. Give you guys a forearm shot. All right, I get a lot of comments uh, with the Sam Saluk stuff. His stuff is always in my feed. Um, at the moment, he really is the biggest growing fitness superstar. Um, and I've kind of made points on some of this, and and what bothers me with a lot of his fans is that they, they really don't understand the consequences of, of what he's doing. Um, and I see that in my own comments, and that's what I'm going to address are the comments and posts and questions I get. And I've gotten them on multiple platforms uh, on my bigger pages. Uh, so the, the thing that I want to address and people are not getting is it's not he doesn't have exceptional genetics. He doesn't have exceptional knowledge of training. Uh, and I'm not saying the guy hasn't gained ridiculous amounts of muscle. He clearly has. But when I've made the statements in comparisons to Dallas McCarver, I really do mean that. Dallas McCarver passed at 26. All right, some people are like, yeah, but look how Jack Sam has gotten. He can compete with Ronnie Coleman. Like, no, he, he can't. Uh, again, he is pushing the bleeding edge to the point to where his health is suffering with what he is using. He can't breathe on camera. All right. He can't breathe on camera. And, and people do not understand what they're looking at because they haven't been around the lifting world for decades like I have. Decades. I've been around this. I've seen the variety of, of gear use. I know what the current markets are. I know what people have access to. Uh, and what I am seeing here is, is not someone who got to where he is because he's really genetically gifted. Uh, and some people are like, yeah, but he doesn't seem to be having many side effects. I'm like he's having horrendous side effects. The face, the moon face, the amount of acne, um, the extreme difficulty breathing. This is someone whose health is in potentially immediate danger, all right? The, the labored breathing that I'm seeing at his body weight, uh, at his age, when I'm making statements that I think this poor kid's not going to be here in 10 years, I don't mean that as a maybe. 10 years is, is extreme, All right? So when I make that statement, I'm saying it could be this year. I'm saying it could be next year, definitely before 10 years, All right? He, so when I say he won't make it 10 more years, I don't mean, oh, he's going to get to write at nine and a half. And, you know, no, that's not what I'm saying. And, and it's unfortunate. I'm not making that sort of statement to be mean. I'm not making it to be excessively critical. I'm not making it out of any sort of malice or jealousy. I have nothing against this guy. I have nothing personal against this young man. It is said, not just out of concern, because he's not going to listen to me. All right, let's be honest. He doesn't know who I am, doesn't care who I am, doesn't care about my opinion. So let's just get that clear. I hate it when people make critical videos of others in their life. If they're going to see my, no, they're not going to see your video. They're not going to listen. They're not going to care. Okay. People don't. They really don't. Oh, um, he's not going to see my stuff. He's not going to care. That's not the point. It's a warning to the followers because a lot of people may be willing to follow in the footsteps. Um, the problem we have today is, is different from the previous errors. Gear is so accessible at astronomical amounts for pennies. That's the point. Um, and people really don't understand. I brought that up in a thing, and I don't want to go into specifics. But with what is available, if you've got the right connections, it's, it's, it doesn't cost thousands of dollars to run four or five grams a, a week. It doesn't cost thousands of dollars for someone to go through uh, two HGH kits per month. We're not in that world anymore. We really aren't. And people who are kind of in the loop, they know exactly what I'm saying. They're like, yeah, dude, he's right. He's right. Like Dante's cycling for pennies that he wrote with the dog crap training, with DC training, right? that accompanying article really has become a reality. It really is like that now. And, and it's just the way it is. We, we are literally in a world to where people can run abuse levels of these things for less than your groceries cost. 
Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, that's just the reality. A good diet for building muscle costs considerably more than for someone to use scary amounts of stuff. And I'm being very careful with the wording here for obvious reasons. You guys know what I mean by stuff, combinations of stuff. So, you know, it's not that he's just on a little. The signs are there that it's excessive in the breathing and uh, the signs of edema. You're seeing the other stuff. His, his E2 is out of control. His blood pressure is out of control. Uh, there is very clearly inflammation and water retention inside of his chest wall. Okay. And uh, any medical doctor who will look at the situation will understand. Go observe him, observe how rapidly he's gained muscle, look at the situation, you'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, this is this is a problem. So when people are like, oh, he's going to be on the Mr. Olympia, no, he's not going to be Mr. Olympia. He's not. This is what we saw. He's gaining size at the rate that you guys saw Dallas McCarver do it at. At that same sort of young age, you're seeing the same rate. Dallas McCarver, we saw the autopsy. We have a good idea of what he was using just based upon the toxicology at what amounts. I covered that in vast detail. Dallas McCarver dropped dead at 26. At 25, the signs were there that he was, I predicted it. In a video six months before he passed, I'm like, he's not going to make it a year. And he didn't. I nailed it. Okay. I want to be very clear. We are seeing the same things with Sam. And the problem is the fans are going to, he's not going to quit because the fans are growing. The guy's gained so many millions and millions and millions of followers. And he has so many adoring fans. He has so many people looking up to him. He can't stop. He can't. He's not going to be able to quit with what he's doing. Um, and the fans have caused it because they've driven it on. And if it's not him, then it's just going to be someone else in this current environment. If, it, if Sam quits and drops out, someone else will realize, hey, I can do the same thing and replace that same niche and I'll have a million followers in no time. All right. Um, and it's scary. It's a, it's a scary reality, right? It is scary. Um, and it's unfortunate. And, and that's what the fans are not getting when they come in and they make these statements like, well, he's going to do this, he's going, he's going to be some great buddy. No, he's not. He's not. The signs are already there. He's not going to make it long enough. He's not. He is not going to be on an Olympia stage. Okay? And people would get this idea, well, this person or that person used gear and they didn't get that big. It's like, you don't understand what we're talking about. That's like saying, this person over here drank three shots of alcohol and they didn't get that drunk. Do you understand what I'm saying now? They didn't die from alcohol poisoning. They didn't die from liver sclerosis. They drank some alcohol. Hey, does that, does that context work for people? And I literally had people come in and say, well, how can a kid that young and this amount of money? It's like, do you, you really, you guys are clueless then. You're clueless. If you don't think what he did in the first six months could have been done in today's market on less than most people are spending on groceries, on less than some of you are spending on supplements, uh, you're clearly not up to speed. And that's okay. Everyone, not everyone needs to be in that world. They don't need to be up to speed on that. But it, it is that way, guys. It is pennies now. That's what happens in a competitive market. That's what happens when you have a competitive black market to where governments have pushed up the way they have. The black market becomes efficient. It becomes competitive. And it, it's created a monster. It's created a monster. Uh, and, it's a, and that is what the fans are not getting here. That is what they're not understanding. This young man isn't going to be here that long. And he's not just using what you guys think of as, you know, Jerry Ward abuse amounts. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You wouldn't have the side effects. You wouldn't have the muscle growth because there was no indication. And there's no indication at all that there's amazing top-tier bodybuilder genetics at play. There isn't. You didn't see it in his early training. You're looking now at the side effects we're seeing. He's not resistant to the side effects. That's one of the that's one of the traits of being an elite bodybuilder. 
resilience against the side effects. You're not seeing that resilience. And I don't know what more to say on that other than people really, really are clueless. And what's going to happen, he's going to be an example. He's going to be another example of this is what happens when you push these things too far. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.